Hi, I'm Anne. And I'm Anthony. And we are educators at the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences. Today we're working through the exercise traffic lights to see how we can control three external LEDs in a sequence to make them change like real traffic lights. Now let's stop talking and get, get on, on with it. it. First up, we are going to prototype the layout of the LEDs to make sure everything works and then move on to make a cool little stand for our traffic light. We should start by getting out everything we need. We need to get nine alligator clips, three 220 ohm resistors and three LEDs a red, yellow and green one. How do you know which resistor to use? It is a one which is strips in the order of red, red, black, black and a fifth colour which is the tolerance and varies. If you are interested in finding out more about how to read a resistor, search for resistor colour codes or click the link in the description below. Using three wires and alligator clips, we are going to connect the short leg of each of the LEDs to one end of each resistor. One LED per resistor. Now let's use the three more wires to connect the other end of each resistor to G and D on the thinker shield. Finally, we need to use another three wires to connect the long leg of the red LED to D2, the yellow LED to D4 and the green LED to D5. Let's go to the file menu and create a new sketch. Insert the LED traffic light code to make the lights work. This is just like when you were making patterns on the LEDs connected to pins 8 to 13 except now we're using pins 2, 4 and 5. If you need some help with this code, check out Even Flashier. Now, let's, let's get, get on, on with, with the, the build. build. We need to create our traffic light stand by cutting a piece of cardboard about 15 by 7 centimeters. Then, punch three holes for the LEDs down the middle. These holes should be about 5 millimeters in diameter. Next, cut and fold the flaps to make it stand up. Next, Let's put all three LEDs into the holes in the cardboard stand. Red on top, amber in the middle and green on the bottom. If you don't want your light permanently connected to your computer, you can use a battery clip or a USB charger for display of your creation. Thanks so much for following along with us. Make sure to check out thinkershield.mars.museum for more awesome projects you can do with the Thinkershield. You can even upload some of your own. We'd love to see them. Good luck and until then, get, get on, on with it! it.